grade 5. Welcome back to our class. We are on our quarter 2 week 3 conjunctions with our pivot 4A module. In this lesson, you are expected to compose clear and coherent sentences using appropriate conjunctions. Conjunctions are important features of the English language. They are used to connect words, phrases, and sentences. The use of conjunctions helps in establishing clear connections, meanings, and ideas. Let us read the sentences below. Number one, Lito prepared pasta and pizza for his late night snacks. He didn't prepare burger nor fries as his late night snacks. He had prepared pasta before he baked his favorite pizza as his late night, late night snacks. So now notice what the highlighted words express. And, nor, and before. The highlighted words and, nor, and before are some of the commonly used conjunctions. They are examples of conjunctions. They express or show connection between words, phrases, and sentences. Okay, so let's have let's have this learning task number one. Identify the best conjunction to be used in each item. Select from the given options below. Do this in your notebook or in your file paper. So the options are in the box. For number one, Yazzie will watch horror blank comedy movies this Sunday. So Yazzie will watch horror. And what conjunctions will we use? Yazzie will watch horror blank comedy movies this Sunday. So horror and comedy is two different kinds of movies. So what will we use? Yes, we use the conjunction and. So we use the conjunction and. And number two, Sam decided not to come to the party. Blank. He suddenly changed his mind. So let let us analyze the number two. Sam decided not to come to the party. Blank. He suddenly changed his mind. So what will we use? What conjunction will we use in this sentence? Some decided not to come to the party. Blank, he suddenly changed his mind. So, we can use Though, some decided not to come to the party. Though, he suddenly changed his mind. Or, we can also use but. It depends on our sentence. Number three, block. I have a doubt on what actions to take. I pray and ask God for His guidance. So what will we use? We use whenever. Whenever I have a doubt on what actions to take, I pray and ask God for His guidance. So whenever. Number four, the teacher shows equal compassion for her learners, blank, they have different personalities. So, what will we use here in number four? What conjunction will we use here? The teacher shows equal compassion for her learners. Even they have different personalities. So, number four is even. Number five, the president calls for a meeting, blank, he can easily address the concerns of the members of the organization. So, it's obvious that we will use so that. The president calls for a meeting so that he can easily address the concerns of the members of the organization. So, that's it for learning task number one. So, what are conjunctions? Conjunctions connect words, 
phrases, clauses, or sentences. For example, J and done. The conjunction here is and. Apple or mango. The conjunction here is or. Crispy chicken and creamy spaghetti. Hot coffee or cold juice. She was sure about her answers, but she missed one question. The conjunction here is the word but. So there are two types of conjunctions. There are two types of conjunctions, the coordinating and the subordinating conjunctions. Number one, coordinating conjunctions. So what are coordinating conjunctions? It connects words or group of words that are of equal importance. So it connects words or group of words that are equal of importance. For example, there are a lot of examples here. So we have coordinating conjunctions, the meaning of the coordinating conjunctions, and the example sentences. Okay, for the coordinating conjunctions for, the meaning is because. An example sentence, my mother needs to work day and night for she is a single mom of five kids. Coordinating conjunction N, the meaning is plus. So I love English and Filipino subjects. Coordinating conjunction nor, negative alternative. So we have here example, neither Mila nor Alice joins the Taekwondo club. So, neither means uh, nor. If we use neither, we always use nor. Neither, nor, either, or. So, neither means negative. Nobody wants to join the Taekwondo. Okay. So, the coordinating conjunctions, but shows contrasts. We want to play computer games, but we need to study our lessons. So, but here it shows contrasts. Or, one of the two alternatives, if we use OR, for example, Verna will stay at home to relax or will go swimming with friends. So, Verna will stay at home or go swimming with friends. Yet, means but. Vino is already tired yet determined to win. So, therefore, means therefore. Kim wants to make his mom proud, so he studies hard to excel in his school. So you can read it again by yourself in this slide. So remember, if you are using a coordinating conjunction to connect two complete sentences, you must use a comma. Remember the acronym Fine Boys. Always remember this for and nor but or yet and so fun boys number two subordinating conjunctions join two clauses making one clause dependent or subordinate of the other clause example mother brought an umbrella plus it was raining equals my mother brought an umbrella because it was raining or because it was raining my mother brought an umbrella okay hope you get it these words are commonly used as subordinating conjunctions we have after before since until when whenever while the meaning is to refer to time for example we watch our favorite show while waiting for our dinner. Next is where and wherever. The meaning is to show location. Jason visited the shop where he bought his books. Next is then or whether. To show preference or choice. So the example, I have to decide whether to study or to play. So you have to... You have your choice. Next is the as, because, and since to express a reason or cause. 
Leia studies well because she wants to be a successful person someday. In order that so so that that to express a result or effect. Example, the guard opened the gate so that the pupils could get inside. Next, if, even if, unless, to express a condition. Example, you will achieve your dreams if you study and work hard. Last one, although, even though. The meaning is to communicate contrast. For example, Emily still could not sleep although she was so tired. So those are the common examples of subordinating conjunctions. So we have here learning task number three. Compose clear and coherent sentences using the given subordinating conjunctions and their functions below. Do this in your notebook or in your paper. So we have here example of the subordinating conjunctions after, wherever, whether, or since. Functions, uh, functions are written here also. And we have uh, example sentences, sentences here. These are just examples that I have written here. You can do your own. So we have after, two years after pandemic, we got back to school. Next one, wherever I can go wherever you are. Number three, where, whether. Whether you like it or not, you go with us. And since, since I see you, I am better. So these are just examples. You can compose your own. So, thank you for listening. Hope you learned something. Please like, share, and subscribe for more video lessons. If you have questions, suggestions, you can comment down below. I am very much willing to reply with your comments. Thank you. Thank you very much. God bless everyone.